So let's take a deeper look here at the a resource section within your ARM template. And so a resource is an Azure resource you want to provision. Could be a virtual machine, could be a database. And so here on the right hand side, look at where it says resources. And we're gonna take a, a, a breakdown of the actual uh, columns or attributes uh, that we can set. So the first thing is the type, and this is gonna follow the format of the resource provider and resource type. So there you can see that we are setting up a storage account. Then we have the API version, and this is the version of REST API that we're gonna use for that resource. And each resource provider publishes its own API version. So you gotta go look up each one because they all could be different. Then you have the name of the resource. Uh, and so I believe there that is using um, a variable. So that is gonna be dynamic. Then you have the location. So most resources have a location property and that's the region that you want it to, de to be deployed in. Uh, then you have other properties and other properties can uh, 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 will be uh, based on different kinds of resources. So for a storage account, you wanna be able to set the kind and within the properties, you're gonna have a bunch of other options there and it's just gonna vary, okay? Uh, but anyway, let's take a closer look next at parameters. 